Hello, I'm David Watt from Madeline Hicks Real Estate and welcome to our Market Roundup video for February 2017. We have exciting news this month with the announcement that Madeline Hicks Real Estate has been awarded Agency of the Year for 2016 in Everton Park and McDowell by Rate My Agent. On behalf of Madeline and all of the team here at Madeline Hicks Real Estate, thank you for all of your support and we look forward to being of service to our valued clients for many years to come. If you remember from January's video, a large number of buyers who were holding off over the busy holiday period have re-entered the market, creating a lot of activity and excitement in our area. This level of buyer activity has continued strongly into February, and homes that are presented well have sold quickly and easily for excellent prices. In quite a number of situations, we've had multiple offers for the sellers to choose from, and we've experienced an increase in the number of properties that have sold off market or prior to official launch on realestate.com, simply from our database of active buyers, saving our sellers potentially thousands of dollars in marketing fees. One major cause of this buyer competition is a continuation of the very low number of properties on the market relative to the same period in previous years, and in the case of Stafford Heights, 20% less properties on the market than even were available in January of this year. Hungry buyers are competing in a classic low supply, high demand scenario, yielding strong sale prices for our sellers. The market in Everton Park stayed steady this month with 83 properties available in January and 80 available in February. We did observe an increase in the number of properties sold, 15 in February, which is a significant increase from the 10 sold in January. And the highest sale price was 53 Russell Street, achieving 700,000, and the lowest sale price being 296,000 for the month. In McDowell, we saw a similar number of properties available on the market with 17 available this month, up from 16 in January. Of these 17 properties, eight sold, with 25 Redford Crescent being the highest sale price in February for McDowell at 805,000 and an empty 680 square metre block of land on Keona Road, selling for 460,000 at the lower end, which is a useful indicator for current land value in the area. Stafford was also steady with 42 properties available on the market, down from 43 in January. Stafford continues to grow in popularity as shown by the buyer demand with 11 properties selling in February, up from only seven in January. The highest sale price was a relatively simple period home at 9 Theodore Street selling for $786,000. Buyers are attracted to these well-made homes full of character because they are easy to renovate and add value or add a balcony or outside entertaining area to really maximise on that investment. And they are really noticing that Stafford has great schools nearby, good shops, cafes and the infrastructure. Interesting to note is that 22 Wynnum Street sold for 722,000, setting a new street record 22,000 higher than the previous record in that street. There's also plenty of new development taking advantage of this great accessibility to the city or the airport link tunnel, and the lowest sale price was a unit at 280,000. In Stafford Heights, there were 26 properties on the market in February, up from 21 in January, with 12 of these selling in February, which was steady with the 12 sold in January. Stafford Heights has always had very strong sale prices, helped along by the fantastic city views that can be had from the right vantage point, such as we observed with the highest sale price in the, in the suburb for February at 835,000, which was a beautiful house on 64 Redwood Street with a brilliant deck taking full advantage of those fantastic city views. The lowest sale price for the suburb was 385,000, which was a cleared block of land on McQueen Street. Thank you for your time. It's been a real pleasure to be able to present this market update video to you. As you've seen with such strong buyer activity at the moment and a low supply of properties on the market, now is a fantastic time to sell if you want to achieve the best price for your home or your investment property. If you've had any thoughts of selling or are just curious to see what your home may be worth in the current market, please give me a call today. My name is David Watt from Madeline Hicks Real Estate.